Hello once again. Um, <clears throat> just a, a little personal note, uh, I'm going to try to keep these tutorials coming on a regular basis, but um, I have some family members who are ill, so um, that may that situation may be going on for quite some time, so I, I may have to kind of drop out for a while and here and there to take care of that kind of business. I'll try to keep up with your request for help, and uh, if you don't hear from back from me right away, you'll know that I'm, I'm just busy with other things. Uh, anyway, this is a tutorial on parenting items. Very uh, basic concept, but something you need to know how to do. If you're a very beginner, it's a good thing to start out with. Um, I'm going to hit Control N to bring up a, a null object, build a null object. And um, one thing in the new version of Lightwave is that you can now, when you build your null object, you, you can select Edit and you can choose these different shapes for an object. You can fill it, you can make it look like a pyramid, a diamond, you can give it a label and you can give it a selected, unselected color. Let's give it a selected color of pink and unselected color of blue. Okay. So now we have something that looks um, it looks god awful, but uh, it's uh, it's something completely uh, easy to see. So I'm going to clone that and I'm going to hit P for properties. It's the same thing as adding the, the item shape plugin manually, <clears throat> but uh, you can do it when you create it. I'm going to give this a selected color of yellow and unselected color of green. And I'm going to change the tag, the label. Oops, let's make it a different shape too. Make it a diamond. Okay, so now they look very different and they're easy to tell apart and easy to see, much much easier to see than those jumping jacks. Okay, so now they're free to move around on their own. Let's parent this null number two to null number one. Uh, an easy way to do it is to hit M to bring up motion panel and you'll see here is a parent item uh, option. Just uh, select null one in your drop down and now when null one uh, moves, null two moves with it and when it rotates, it rotates with it. You can still animate this separately. It's just that it's going to have null one's motion kind of added to it. So if null one was a planet and null two was a moon, if you rotate the planet, the moon orbits around it, and um, the moon can also have its own axis rotation on it. But the moon's rotation does not affect the planets. Um, the parent affects the child, and not vice versa. So let's uh, delete that uh, parent-child relationship. Hit M again and select None. And you'll see here that when we uh, when we move this one, that the uh, Null 2 does not move with it. Another way to do, th do this is to bring up the Scene Editor, Control F1, and uh, under the Dope Sheet, just um, drag the child item into the parent item, and a hierarchy gets created, and uh, the same thing happens. You move the parent, the child moves with it. Control F1. In order to break this relationship, just drag it out. Okay? And now, as we'll see, parent and child are separated. Another way to do this is with the schematic editor. You can select it from the drop down list, or you can hit 7 on the keyboard. And as you'll see, the schematic editor gives you an overview of your scene using nodes. It might be easier to, to uh, organize for you. And you can move things around Alt to move the view and control alt to zoom in and out and if we want to parent null 2 to null 1 we select null 2 hold down control select null 1 and as you'll see parent child relationship has been created if we want to break that relationship select select the child and hold down control and then click on the little arrow and you'll see that that has been taken away all right that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do things is using various uh, plugins, uh, motion plugins. Let's animate null one moving around. And we'll move it over there. Okay, so no parenting has happened, so null two just sits there. Let's say from frame 20 to frame 40, we want null two to follow this. But after that, we don't want that to happen. So let's select null two, hit M on the keyboard. And under modifier, the parenter plugin is a pretty easy one to use for that type of purpose. And what it is is when you select, uh, when you go to a frame, you just select parent. You select the thing you want parented. I would I would strongly suggest keeping initial position rotation and scale uh, checked. Otherwise, 
your child item is going to jump to your parent item and the scale can change, it can be very unpredictable. After IK, um, I haven't needed to use, I think that's more for like game, game engine export or whatever. Uh, click OK and now you'll see here it says that on frame 20 you've been paired into null 1 and so as you can see up to frame 20 null 2 does not move and then after that it follows it. Now let's go to frame 40 and we'll unpair it and so as you can see it's been taken over. For those for, uh, uh, 20 frames it's parented to it and up until then and after that it does not move with it. Um, the only problem with the parenter plugin is that it doesn't really allow you to animate it. If you want Null 2 to have its own animation before this, like jumping around and stuff like that, you'll see that it doesn't, it just, because these motion modifiers usually take over the entire motion of an object. So when you animate this thing doing its own thing, it's it's just being overridden by what's in the uh, in the um, uh, motion modifiers, okay. Uh, but for a lot of things, this is this is just fine. Um, let me show you how I used it in a uh, scene from an upcoming Star Wars fan film I'm working on. And here we have Lord Vader, Darth Vader, and uh, he's giving some threatening dialogue. And he decides he's had enough. He's going to draw his lightsaber. And you'll see I've got the lightsaber here in wireframe mode, and uh, to make it easy to see where the fingers were. And as you can see, it's up to this point, it's parented to his hip, his pelvis, and then at this point, he grabs it, and now it's parented to his hand. And that was very simple to do with the, because um, I didn't need the lightsaber to have its own animation, it's just following other things. If I hit M on the keyboard and bring up the parenter, you'll see that it's um, been parented to the pelvis, and then at a certain frame, frame 103, it's parented to the right hand. And um, that was just very, very simple to do. Um, and so that's a good use of the Parenter plugin. And that's an introduction to, uh, to uh, parenting items in Lightwave. I hope that helps you out.